welcome back to my channel i am neha parasha working in a healthcare company and based in germany in today's video we are on step 7 during ind preparation that is the registration of clinical trials on clinicaltrial.gov so the clinical trial which needs to be performed in us fda need to be registered on a website called clinicaltrials.gov this is a publicly available database so that anyone can know which company is performing which clinical trials and information related to this the first question which comes to our mind is who is responsible for this registration on this website of course the sponsor is responsible person unless and until sponsor designate a principal investigator as the responsible party otherwise it's always sponsor's responsibility to register their clinical trial with clinicaltrial.gov then the next question which comes to the mind is which type of clinical trial to be registered and which type of clinical trial can have waiver from this requirement so there are four criteria if your study is falling under these four criteria then you need to register your clinical trials what is this four criteria the first criteria is that it should be an interventional study meaning you should actually administer the drug to the human populations second and third criteria is that study should fall under the us fda regulations and rules okay and the fourth criteria is that any study except phase 1 that is phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 so these need to be registered with the website so if your drug is passing these four criteria then it's mandatory that your clinical trial to be registered but opposite to this meaning if the study is not interventional or it is just an observational study it is not regulated by us fda regulations and if this is a phase 1 trials then the registrations are not mandatory So now I think it's very clear to you when do we need to register our clinical trial on the clinicaltrial.gov website and when it is not required to be registered on this. Now you must be wondering does this mean you cannot register the phase 1 clinical trial because I just said that phase 1 clinical trials are not mandatory to be registered. Then the answer is no. That's not the case. as it's volunteer so it's up to you if you want to submit it or not but if we voluntarily submit clinical trial information for a clinical trials on clinicaltrial.gov then we are responsible to ensure the compliance with applicable regulations okay then the next question come what is the timing for recording information on the clinical trial registries So the sponsor should submit the required clinical trial information within 21 days after enrollment of the first participant. And in general the result should be submitted within 12 months after the study completion date as per the regulation the completion date is the date that the last subject were examined or received in the treatment for final collection of data. Okay? Now the next question comes okay it's fine now we understand who submit and register this information when to register and what are the criteria but what if we register our clinical trial but we did not progress with our study and we just suspended our trial then what should we do in that there are categories to enter the relevant information on this site you can select the relevant entries for example if no subject or patients were ever enrolled in the trial set the overall recruitment status to withdrawn and no further results information will need to be submitted in this case but if the participants were enrolled but a trial was terminated after the enrollment then select the category and provide any available data so this is clearly mentioned on this website so this is how the clinical trial registrations are managed in our next video we will discuss about the step 8 during ind preparation but before we end this video do you know how to manage the changes related to ind application if you know the answer then let me know in the comment section if not then don't worry i'll talk about that in my next upcoming video till then let's see